Well, it's Final Four Friday up on the bluff at the University of Portland. Fox 12's Nick Krupke is live at the Child Center for the OSAA Girls and Boys State Basketball Semifinals. This is day three at UP, and Nick, I'm guessing the night session is underway. We are just now, yeah, the girls have the afternoon. We now know what the final looks like tomorrow and right now, just underway in the first half. Number one, Westland, of course, nationally ranked in Lincoln, number four seed out of the PIL. Looking to do something big right now. Westland with lines up nine to five. Later tonight, the defending champs out of Tualatin and Barlow High. The girls' final, though, locked in. We know we'll have a new 6-8 champion. The first game of the day saw an incredible matchup of talented rosters for number one Jesuit, fifth seed at Clackamas. The Cavaliers making a third straight semifinal appearance and are starred by their sophomore of course jazzy davidson just won the gatorade player of the year in the state for the second straight year jazz the top rated recruit in the country the class of 2025 she's one of three sophomore stars for clack jazzy defended hard and on and off day she went for nearly though a double double and how about cavalier senior ryan mogul will soon play in this gym for college with the wcc champion pilots well the oldest of the three mogul sisters led everybody with 14 and on the other side the Crusaders led by their All-American senior and Oregon Duck commit Sophia Bell. She was held the four of 18 from the floor. And Wednesday's buzzer beating hero, Emma Sixa, she had 10. Kendra Hicks, 11 and 8 down low. A one-point game early in the fourth. Jesuit normally so good from three-point range, but they were 0 for 14. Meantime, Clackamas can hit with everybody with their length and size. They press on 39 to 34. They're so young, they're so experienced. And now one win removed from a first state title in school history. I think just having like that mentality that we needed just to keep attacking the whole time even if like our shots weren't falling like my shots were not falling at all and my teammates stepped up they had my back and they were attacking really hard and knocking down their free throws. Yeah, the Cavs will now play for the title here on Saturday at 315. Pretty cool for their head coach as well. Corey Landel played for the Cavaliers in the 90s. This squad unbeaten in the state this season. Their motto, nothing can stop what we do together. They've won 21 in a row. The second game of the girls' semifinals went final between Barlow and South Medford. And my goodness, we had a running clock. A repeat matchup from the semis a year ago. The game featured a pair of future Oregon State Beavers with Kennedy Schuler under the Mount Hood Conference for the Bruins and Donovan Hunter with the Panthers. The Beavers are in good hands with that pair in the future for sure. South Betty though, too good. A second seed. They have six freshmen as well. It was 44 to 14 and a half. Hunter paced the play with 23 and South Medford into that championship game now with Clackamas on Saturday in the afternoon at 315. They won 71 to 33. Again, that running clock in the fourth over last year's runners up. Meantime, 5A championship night as well right now at halftime. Springfield 21, Crescent Valley 20. We'll bring that to you tonight at 10 o'clock. Got a crew down there. And Wilsonville's boys into the 5A title for the seventh straight year. That's a state record. They're playing Summit at a bend. Of course, they were in this game, the 6A championship one year ago. Summit dropping down to 5A. Bring that to you tonight. The 4A finals are in Forest Grove tomorrow. We'll be there as well. Hope you can join us tonight. 1045 little front of that lights in the studio from all aspects of life. Hoops wise, we'll be there tonight on the news at 10 o'clock. We're now live at the University of Portland, Nick Krupke, Fox of Oregon.